good morning uh, our uh, task for this morning is how to draw an isometric ellipse so in your drawing paper you're going to prepare the front view the side view and the top view separately so unlike in uh, when we were drawing our isometric we're in the top view front view and the side view is in one position this time we have to separate the three meaning uh, just like this month uh, you dismantle the box so in my paper i have prepared a vertical line or the vertical axis already so i am going to prepare first the front view of the object so i have here my vertical line so what i am going to do is to project my 30 degrees left cross axis so in your paper you're going to measure seven centimeters so or oh, you may use six centimeters then draw another 30 degrees cross axis then be sure that you are doing or drawing an isometric square so therefore you are going to be sure six centimeters so that you can make the other side of the uh, vertical axis next thing that you are going to do is to project a 60 degree line be sure that this point and this point will be connected so this one then use your t square pick up this corner so that you can project a horizontal line so on the other on the lower portion you have to pick up this corner so that you will be drawing another horizontal line so as you can see we have here our intersection between the 60 degree line plus the vertical uh, sorry horizontal line and hor another horizontal line so we have our pick up point or intersection so this is where you are going to place the needle of your compass so that you have or you can now draw your minor axis so how to get the minor axis just position the needle of your compass on the intersection while the pencil of the compass on the edge of your isometric square so this time you can draw the minor axis then transfer your needle but be sure that you did not change the opening of your compass on the top or the above portion and another minor axis. So, once you have your minor axis, top and bottom, you may now or you have to transfer the needle of the compass on this location and adjust the uh, pencil so that it will be touching the edge of your isometric square then uh, arc then transfer from this location to this location so that you can have another major axis uh, by the way this is what we call as major axis then once you are done you may finalize your ellipse by simply using darker 
line okay so this is now our frontal ellipse So be careful when you hold your compass or else this will happen. So what we're going to do is to erase it very carefully not to erase the important lines or else you will be, you can use your erasing shield if you have your erasing shield. And this is now our frontal ellipse. 